Hi, this is Carol White. I'm the President and Executive Director of the Corning Museum of Glass in Corning, New York, and I am delighted to be addressing this group today. It is so wonderful to connect our two institutions and our two communities, which have Corning as a centerpiece through the art of glass and through this wonderful exhibition from the fire contemporary glass. We were thrilled to be asked to lend works to this important exhibition and in doing so to share with your community the story that we know so well about the art of glass here at the Corning Museum of Glass. We have an institution here in Corning that enjoys wonderful support from Corning Incorporated and that welcomes Corning employees through its doors on a daily basis. And I am so thrilled that you have been able to make your exhibition available to Corning employees in Wilmington. It is going to be so wonderful for your arts community and for your future attendants to do so. So that was a terrific move and I applaud you for it. At the Corning Museum of Glass, we have a collection that spans three, five centuries of glass making. And I know you're focused on the last 55 years, starting with one of our local heroes and one of yours, Harvey Littleton, and the impact that this incredible man had on the studio glass movement and on the current population of glass artists that you have in Western North Carolina. We are thrilled to be part of that larger community with you, and we are enjoying, I think, a renaissance in glass art. In my opinion, you can't have too many shows about contemporary glass because it is such a wonderful medium. It is so eye-catching and so intriguing. And for me, as an art historian and as a curator here in Corning as well, one of the questions that I constantly ask myself is, how did they manage to make that? And to appreciate the work of an artist like Harvey, who took the nascent art glass field and turned it what it into what it is today in America is is an opportunity not to be missed and I am so glad that you took it. It's hard to believe it's been 55 years uh, since Harvey had this impact and and to see how much the glass world has grown in that time frame is just stupendous. I, I wanted to say a little bit about the fact that we are both Corning communities. Uh, here in Corning, New York, of course, we have Corning's world headquarters, and we have Sullivan Park, the major research and, and development facility for Corning, where, in fact, the Littletons made their mark, husband and wife and Harvey's parents, in the development of Pyrex uh, and in many other products that were eventually made by Corning Incorporated. And in Wilmington, of course, you have an incredible facility that is Corning's as well and plays such an important role in the company and in the lives of the people who live there. So I feel like, uh, in a sense, we are sister communities through our appreciation of and enjoyment of Corning Incorporated. So I wish you guys all the best with your exhibition. Enjoy it. Enjoy the beauty of the works that we've been able to contribute to your exhibition for its duration. And I hope someday we'll welcome you here in Corning to see the rest of the collection.